Don Julio. A lot of you guys have been requesting this in my previous episode. A lot of people say it's good. You should try it. Never tried it before. It's gonna be my first time. So I got the Don Julio Reposado. So in order for it to be called a Reposado, it has to be aged anywhere from two to 12 months. All right, this one specifically is aged six months. It's aged in American white oak barrels. All right, so I don't know how that's gonna taste. I don't know what to expect. So it's gonna be fun. It's gonna be interesting. And we'll see how this one goes. I cannot get my hands on the 1942 because a lot of you guys told me to review that one but we only sell the Blanco and the Reposado here so just kind of live with this one at the time being so let's get down to it this is going to be the Don Julio Reposado sitting at 40 percent in ABV 750 ml at a price tag of $91 so this is one of the biggest bottles I bought compared to my other episodes so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open this up Look at the seal on it. It's not like a, a cheesy cork. It's made out of wood. You definitely got the um, nice ribbon across the bottleneck right here. Looks pretty cute. Okay. Hold on. Give me a sec. God damn it. All right. I don't know if this is the color rye or is either going to come out white, clear. It is in the brown bottle, so we'll see. I got the glass. It was chilled. Now it's not no more. All right. Let's see what this is about. Okay, it's a little hard to. That's a that's a that's a lovely cork right there. Okay, it's clear. <laughs> I thought it'd be brown or something. That's that smells stronger than Patron actually. It smells pretty good. That's a good smell towards it. Oh geez. Really? I have to say, it just tastes like any other tequila. <laughs> no disrespect or anything like that. It's just very potent and a little bit smoother versus um, the other tequila I drank. Mm -hmm. Got some spicy notes, very strong, Whew. but it's smooth. It's not so upsetting uh, in a way, All right? So that's actually pretty, uh, pretty unique. It's easy to drink. I wouldn't say it's like bad or anything like that. All right, let's try a shot of this. Okay, the coloration, now taking a better look at it in a shot glass, it has a little of um, a tone. Um, it's just a tad bit of like uh, yellow. Right, let's see what this is about. Oh, wow. That went down easy. <laughs> You know, uh, usually uh, I would have like certain type of faces I make, like <laughs> or whatever. Um, but that <laughs> that just goes down, man. That just goes down. Like having it neat, it's not like disturbing at all. I definitely say it's not bad. <laughs> okay, I want to definitely try to have this on a rock to see what that's all about. Okay, uh, perfect ice cube, nice and big. I'm just gonna pour in a shot glass and then pour it in there. Nice, you know, sip it. That's easy. Easy to sip. It gives that like, like that nice flame through your nose. I definitely say this is one of the smoothest tequilas I've drank ever. I definitely say for for the time being, right? Until I try something new. Oh. Yeah, very easy, especially on the rocks. But I prefer to have it neat instead. You know, I say it's above average. It's pretty good. Yeah. So that is the review, guys. I'm sorry for to make it so short, but I, I was very happy to try this one. So thank you guys for the request on that one. All right. So if you got more requests, drop it down below. All right. I'm going through everything, and uh, we'll try to go through everything. And I'll definitely see you guys next time. All right. Peace and much love. Thank you guys very much. Definitely gotta have this with something. I gotta have a mixed drinks with this. Oh, jeez.